Hello again and welcome back to our course on Visio 2013. Before we get started on the main body of work on the course, there's one very important topic that I need to cover and that is the use of help in Visio. Obviously in any course it's not possible to cover absolutely everything about a product and there may be times when perhaps you need to find out about something in a little bit more detail or perhaps you didn't understand the explanation that I gave and you want to get a different angle on it. You want to look at if you like the explanation of a particular feature from the horse's mouth, from Microsoft in this case. Now the help facility in Visio is pretty straightforward and it is now very consistent and basically there's a little question mark icon and wherever you see that little question mark icon you can access help. So I'm on the start screen here I'm just going to click up here on the little question mark icon and that brings up browser based help. Now I need to point out to you that to get full Visio help you need to have an active internet connection. Visio help is an online facility, it's not an offline facility as with most Microsoft desktop products nowadays. So if you want help on a particular topic you go to the Visio help page, this one, need assistance and the way that it works now, again pretty consistent, you type in the term that you want help on. So for instance if I want help on start screen type it in, either hit the enter key or hit the little search online help button and any help on start screen is provided. Now when you do this search on help it will not necessarily restrict itself either to Visio or to the current version of Visio. so don't assume that all the help that comes up here is going to be of use to you and in fact a quick glance down here you can see there's very little related to Visio. there's one down here make the switch to Visio 2013 let's just click on that and it presents a range of videos about making the switch to Visio 2013 you may find that useful you may want to watch those videos get a bit more background information now whenever you finish with this page you've got a number of options you can obviously do another search you've got a back button this is browser based so you have a back button and a forward button obviously the forward button currently is disabled because I haven't got a page to go forward to I can click on home to take me home again I can print this particular help topic or I can click on this use large text button here and that will make the text on the page larger Let's just click on home for the moment and there we are, I'm back at the home page for Visio help. Now I will point out the help to you once or twice more later in the course but basically that's how Visio help works. You have an option on the right here with this little pin, keep help on top and when this is set that means that the help topic will always be on top. So if you're working on something and you need to read the help topic at the same time, you can make sure the help page stays on top. You can of course resize the help page to get it out of the way of what you're actually doing. When you finish with help, just click on the close button and help is closed. That's it for this section, please join me for the next one. Hi everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to the Simon Says It channel here on YouTube. Just click on the subscribe button right over there. If you're interested in taking your Office 2013 training to the next level, you can get over 70 hours of Microsoft Office 2013 training offered by Simon Says It. Just check out the About section below this video with more details. We'll see you next week with additional videos.